Joining me here to Edgar Street, Hereford manager Josh Gowling. Why was the Hereford performance so flat tonight? It looked like a performance where we've been on the road as much as we have, and then we've come here and it was just flat. I thought, I thought we were a bit flat at Telford, to be honest. But in possession, we were just awful tonight. Um, we couldn't string passes together, simple two-yard passes. We, we, we didn't seem to have that. Um, and that's, at the end of the day, that's what's cost us the game. Why is it you're not able to motivate to get a performance out of, out of the players, even if they are below par? What do you need to do to change things? What do you mean we're not Well, in a game, obviously, that you're behind now for a yeah. bit of a sloppy goal, from a yeah. back pass, you need to somehow raise the spirits of the players. It didn't seem to happen. Is that fair or not fair? No, not really. Because we've how many games have we won? We've won about eight out of 13, haven't we? So it's not like we're not winning games. So we're just, again, just outside the playoffs and we've had a bad performance. Yes, we didn't have a great performance on Saturday against Telford, but we got the win. But tonight, it wasn't tactically motivation, any of that stuff didn't really matter. If you can't pass the ball two yards to each other, then you're not going to win a game of football. And that was the reality of it. I think defensively we were fine. I don't think they caused us many problems. They had a couple of little balls in behind, but apart from that, nothing. I just felt when we got in the final third, and even in the middle of the park at times, I just thought, Simple passes, um, you know, one at the end. I think Miles had one at the end, didn't he? When he could have slid Ryan, um, Ryan in, and it just didn't come off. And it was just a really that was the poorest performance that I've had as a manager here in possession. Why wasn't the the urgency though from the players to, to lift it somehow? Yeah, but you say urgency, it's because it's speed on the ball. I didn't see yeah, much 100%, movement but... off. I didn't see much movement off the ball at all. I know Portsmouth are different cat the fish, but they gave you an education on how, how yes, keep possession, but also move off the ball. Yeah, but Portsmouth are in League One. So if you look at our patterns, we're moving, but patterns and shape don't mean anything. If you can't pass the ball two yards, it doesn't really matter, does it? It doesn't matter how much you move. If you can't pass the ball from A to B and it's two, three yards away, it doesn't really matter what, how you move. And that was the relative tonight. We just didn't, we can pass to each other. And yeah, it, it ain't great. We've got to work on it now. They're very disappointed in there because we had a good opportunity to close that gap and we haven't and we've let ourselves down massively. But, you know, we've got to pick ourselves up and go again. But for me, that looked a tired performance, more mentally than physically, to be honest. OK, so tired performance. How can you freshen it up? What players can you bring in who are not maybe playing at the moment to give you that bit of freshness? But, you know, if you look at tonight, we've got Callum who's played um, two years, last two years centre mid. We've got Jordan, who's a, who's a centre half playing right back. So straight away, we've lost all three. We, we've lost all three of our fullbacks. So in wide areas, which is our strength, we've, we've ended up leaving our two wide men to it. Where well, obviously they've snuffed that out, and we can't get our fullbacks forward, and that's just injuries. That's just life. So we'll wait for them to get back fit. And you know, we've got Kane out injured as well, so we need him back. So that's just where we're at at the moment. We've had injuries. We've been patching the team up every week to make sure we put teams out there. And the lads have been absolutely fantastic. The attitudes have been brilliant, and that's why we are where we are in the league at the moment. But we do need a little bit more. We need a bit of rest, a bit of recuperation, and we'll go again on Saturday. Because the critics will say, you get yourself into a good position, you're three points off for playoff contention, and every single time you fail to deliver. That's what a critic will say. Behind me, I was hearing it all night. Look, at the end of the day, I don't mind people criticising. Now, if people are going to be give us the same energy when we're winning as when we're losing, no problem at all. Yeah, what I don't like is people turning up just to moan when we lose and not give us the same energy when we're winning and give us those plaudits. Look, the reality is we're 17 games into the season. So and, long, you've pl- and you've played 10 away games. And we've played 10 away games. 17 games into the season. We've got a long, long way to go yet. So, relax. You know, we are in a really good position. Probably in a better position than we've been this early on in the season. And we'll get where we need to go, for sure, 100%. Like I've said, we'll be better than we were last year. And that's what we want. We want progression. And we'll get that. Yes, we're disappointed. And yes, last year we did do that. I think when we were on the cusp of the playoffs, especially the back end of the season, when we could just get in there, what happened? We, like I said, we lost our front three and then we didn't make it. Now we've had injuries at this moment in time. Hopefully we'll get them back soon and hopefully we'll kick on. I know, I believe in, the, in this squad. I believe in their mentality and what they're about. And it's easy to, to come in when we play like that and say the lads don't care. They do care. They want to work hard. And sometimes you don't go out to play bad. You don't go out to not be able to pass the ball from A to B. That, you know, you, you don't go out to do that. And unfortunately, tonight, we've had a real, real off day. Where does that intensity come from as a group? What can you do to inspire the intensity that's yeah, but you, lacking you, today? Yeah, but you're talking about today. You're not talking about it before, are you? So it's one day. You got a victory at Telford, but yeah. again, you'd say there wasn't the forward momentum at Telford. But we had the best chance of the game, didn't we, really? We should, we should have been 2-0 up at half-time, the game's done. 
and we didn't finish Ryan didn't finish that chance then we come out it's one one nil away from home historically we don't play great against Telford anyway and then it's has um, flipping tin hats on and, and long balls yeah. that's just the way it is but previous yeah. we've been fine so the reality is we look tired we look jaded for me especially mentally the last two games so we've got a rest recuperate put a smile on our face and go again change your competition obviously FA Trophy at the weekend Haybridge Swifts do you know anything about that I presume you've had had them watched? Do you, do you know what they're all? Yeah, the, the old manager was. He signed me many years ago, so I know I, I know him well. Um, yeah, we watched them. We know we know about them. Um, we'll have a look at who we're who we're going to bring in f- for the game to make sure we win. We're going to go there. We want to win. Obviously, we've we've done well in the FA Trophy historically, so you know we, we want to get a win there and get to back to winning ways. Now we've had a, a loss today, so we want to go and and, and make, put that right. And you talk about freshening it up, so you must be thinking about using players. So. You know they're not leggy now because they they need an opportunity to show you what they can what they can do. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, so we'll bring players in. You know, Mark's come on today, so that'll be an opportunity maybe for Mark on Saturday to to, to show what he's made of. He's a great kid. He's, he's got full of energy, like you've seen today. Obviously, we've got Justice, we've got Jack. So you know, we'll, we'll look at those players in that in that game, and, and at the end of the day, it's time to get the shirt. Is Jack Holmes not cup tied? Can't play in the trophy. Oh, actually, or is no, he yeah, you are. Cup? Yeah, you're right. No, he's cup tied, isn't he? Yeah, no, you, you caught me there. <laughs> Once. <laughs> <laughs> well, looking ahead of that, that's a bit of a banana skin you possibly want to avoid. We've had him, we've had him, haven't we? So we had him in the FA Cup and, and, we, and we got through them. So for us, we've, we, you know, we, we take each game as a league game. So we'll, we'll go there with the right mentality and, and try and get the win. Thanks very much for your time. No problem. Can I ask you about Ryan McLean? Did you appeal against his red card? Yes, we have. Yeah, obviously we watched it back. It looked like a. Probably a soft yellow, didn't it, really? So, yeah, we have appealed it and we're just waiting to, to hear back on, on, on what the decision is from that. And I assume you'll, you'll hear back before Saturday, obviously. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, no, we went into the league uh, yesterday. So, obviously, we'll, we'll wait to hear back from that. Obviously, they've got to look at it and review the, you know, the, the panel to review it. So, as soon as they do that, then, um, yeah, we'll know. But I hope, we'll, you'd like to think we get it before Saturday. And you took him off tonight. Was that his hamstring or anything? No, or it was just a bad, he just had a bad day, didn't he? So... We made a few changes. A few of us had a bad day to be honest today, so he was just one of them. It just wasn't his day today. He was dribbling. He was, he, he was trying to get involved in the game, and it he, he just ended up being a bit frustrating for him. So yeah, we just made a change. Jack, come on, give us a bit of a spark, um, which was good. Obviously, he's been chomping at the bit to play. So yeah, we give him that opportunity. Is there an opportunity to bring in loan players to freshen up the squad? Um, well, I mean, we'll have a look at it. Obviously, at this point of, of the season, especially in the full-back areas where we, we, we're not blessed at the moment, obviously we've got three injuries. Hope, we're hoping, obviously, to get through the FA Trophy game and then the week after, you know, we'd, we'd like to think maybe someone like Latty or, or, or Jack will be back, Jack Evans. So we'll look at that. But, the, yeah, I mean, we're looking all the time anyway to, to make sure that we, we're not full, we don't fall short. How close are you to getting some of those? I'll count seven out at the moment. How close are you not to too getting? Ma- not too many, is it? <laughs> Like Ryan Lloyd, obviously he's a big miss because he controls the game for them. Yeah, he does, and we've missed you know that experience in the middle of the park. You know, I thought Lukey was excellent tonight, um, but yeah, I mean Lloyd, he's, he's he's been jogging, so he's, he's he's still he feels it a little bit. So I mean, he's been out six seven weeks now, hasn't he? So he's still a way off um, from coming back to be fit. Okay. Thank you, guys.